Hello everybody, Brummy Farmer here and welcome back to Life on the Open Road Now this is episode 8 and I've just picked up a consignment of construction houses and I'm here in my brand new truck my Kenworth Whoops, so I get them not looking where I'm going. Uh, in my Kenworth W900 Studio Sleeper, and it's uh, quite a lot bigger than my uh, previous truck. And this is actually the first time I've driven it, so it should be interesting. See if we can actually get there in one piece. Well, obviously I can't because I'm, I've already crashed. But uh, this has got quite a bit of power. And we're on a 348, I think, mile journey we've got ahead of us. Shouldn't take really too long. Because I have done um, a little bit of testing off camera um, to see how far I can actually go in about 15 20 minutes. And it seems like 350 miles is about the average so hopefully this video shouldn't be too long but I hope you're all having a, a good day wherever you are, whatever you're doing Yeah, it's been it's been about uh, about a week and a half now since I've actually done an American truck. I've been doing quite a few other videos on Euro Truck and Farming Simulator. Post Ed. Yeah, I do actually prefer doing the American truck to the Euro truck for one specific reason is that the roads are long, uh, wider and the journeys are not so much longer but there's not so many obstacles in the way but the road, the road sections are longer so you can just cruise without having to keep on coming off the, the highway and going through the towns and things because that's when the AI traffic gets to you yeah. this time in the morning everybody's uh, on their way to work 5.56 turn the lights off now yeah hopefully this uh, this video finds you all well and I have started a, an interactive series on um, Farming Simulator if you're uh, interested in that sort of thing have a look at the, uh, the videos and tell me what you think <clears throat> and if you'd like me to start doing an interactive series on either this one or 
Euro truck. Please let me know in the comments below. Then you can decide where I go to, what journeys I take and what sort of haulage I carry and that sort of thing. But if you think that's a good idea, please comment below. Or if you think it's not a good idea also, please comment. All comments appreciated. And I have heard that the uh, there's a new DLC coming out for uh, ATS. It's already out for um, for Euro Truck. Uh, the heavy haul, and I have actually got it already, but I haven't done any heavy hauls at the moment on Euro Truck. But I am waiting for it to come out on this just to see what the uh, the difference will be. I'm assuming because it's American truck, the the heavy hauls will probably be a lot larger than they are in uh, Euro truck because obviously the roads are bigger, so you'd be able to carry heavier hauls and bigger holes it's the one thing that's on that's not on this map but is on your Euro, uh, Euro truck is the roundabouts and I actually hate the roundabouts imagine trying to get um, a road train or something around one of the roundabouts in Europe I don't think so so well I wouldn't be able to put that way I also heard about um, a new, another new DLC, but I'm not sure if that's actually accurate. The um, and it's a new map of um, New Mexico, I believe it was. Now that would be quite interesting if it is actually correct. Because I, I, like I say, I don't know if it's actually correct or not. It's just something I heard. Time here on it, we're almost halfway there. I think the only difference between this and um, Euro Truck as well is mostly the scenery, I mean I don't know if it's actually like this driving across America I would imagine it's not but I'm assuming that in some places there are quite a few deserts I mean we, we did start off in Flagstaff which I believe is in the desert but I'm not 100% sure Looks like we're heading into a traffic jam. Hopefully, it carries on nice and smoothly. So you've just got to love the AI in this game. I think its sole purpose is, is to just slow you down because you it gets you down to a crawl and then suddenly shoots off at 70 miles an hour, leave you standing. 
Oops, then. You might want to be out of the speed limit there. Eh? Put my cruise control on to 55. For some strange reason, he's asking me to go down there just to cross over and come back up here. But I'm not going to. The GPS is a bit silly like that sometimes. It asks you to do things that you don't really need to do. Like pulling to the, the rest areas when you Obviously you're not tired or you don't need any fuel. <coughs> it still asks you to drive through there anyway. Yeah, please let me know what you think about my content. I'm always looking on ideas on how to improve. I mean, I've only recently started chatting on my videos. Before that, I was uh, just filming them and just showing them as they were, with music over the, over the driving instead of me talking. Some people would say that would be a way to improve it for me not to talk on the videos anymore but they have <coughs> I wonder where that plane's is heading off to a few buzzards or something flying over there so, but the it's always good to see stuff like that in game. I mean, I, you do drive around here sometimes, and you actually see. Um, I think they're called bull rushes, are they? The um, the big balls of uh, straw or hay or something that's uh, rolling across the road. And when I fit with up when I was first started playing this game and I saw them going across the road I actually thought they were, from a distance, they looked like wild animals just rolling across the road until you get closer you can actually see what they are Oops, stuck on the rumble strips Yeah, so please leave a comment below and if you uh, any suggestions on like, what the next journey should be um, what haul you want me to carry or if you want to go to a specific town you can bypass the nearby by station how does that journey thank you very much I have noticed that on the on the longer journeys that you actually get pulled into the way stations more frequently than you do on a shorter journey so if I was going like seven eight hundred miles or something like that I'd probably end up having to stop twice maybe even three times And I think it's also dependent on how tired you are as well, because my my bar there is about a third of the way up. 
Maybe a quarter of the way up. But if it's the higher it is, I think the more chance you've got of getting pulled over. And I must say, I'm finding this really easy to drive. I was expecting it to be a lot harder than the Kerth and the um, Peterbilt because it's a, a lot bigger. The, fr uh, the front is a lot bigger. It sticks out a lot more, so I was expecting it to be a lot more difficult to drive. But then again, I haven't uh, gone through any of the towns or anything yet. So I'm not sure what it might be, what it's going to be like on the turning. But driving along on the freeway, it's perfect. There are a lot of police on this game. I don't know if it's like this in America on the high rise in real life. It seems like every few yards there's a, a police car. I don't know if you saw my um, my last video on Euro Truck, but uh, well, put it this way, it didn't turn out too well. <laughs> <coughs> and I, I put that down to um, the, uh, the realistic physics mod that I've recently installed and well, basically it makes the physics realistic and I was turning the corner too sharply and I tipped off but then again I suppose realistically that's what would happen Sorry about the thing here. Can't you pull out in front of me? Just coming up to the destination now. In Boston. <laughs> that didn't take too long at all. We've just come up to 20 minutes now, so I think this, I think this is like the uh, the sort of journeys that I will be doing, unless obviously I get requested to do longer ones. And at the end of the day, it's all down to my viewers. If they want to see more. I 
and if they want longer videos, shorter videos, I'll try my best. to do it safely well, as safely as uh, I can <laughs> and it's just over there yes yeah, so I'm not very good at the uh, the parking or anything like that especially the reverse parking so would probably not be a very good idea for me to uh, Try and park anything anywhere. And I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Oh, car goes right to one way. Well, it's 707 XP for that. Marvellous. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've been Brummy Farmer. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.